Hey, thanks for joining me today on Just Cook with Michael. After watching this video today, you'll know how to make a delicious, healthy, low-carb salmon dish with a tomato coulis. I made the tomato coulis video on the last episode, so go back and watch that if you want to see how I made that sauce. It's going to be a simple, healthy preparation, so let's do it. The first step, anytime you're frying fish in oil or sauteing, you want to make sure the ingredients are very dry. I already dried it off once and I'll do it again. The main purpose of drying the salmon is to get a crispy exterior. So if you have a lot of moisture, that moisture turns into steam and that prevents it from getting a nice crispy crust on it. It's also going to cause a lot more splatter if you have oil mixing with water. So I've got my salmon there. Put a pinch of salt on each side. Some fresh black pepper. Now let's head to the range top. I'm going to saute the salmon in extra virgin olive oil. Also I'm going to saute the arugula and spinach with whole butter. I'm also going to saute some roasted bell peppers. They're already cooked so I just want to bring them up to heat and this I'm going to use as a garnish on top of the salmon. Okay the first step in the process is to heat up your pan. Always do that first. This one's over medium high. It's going to put a little extra virgin olive oil in there. You should hear a sizzle when you put your fish in. If you're not hearing a sizzle, you haven't heated up your pan enough. Put our salmon, put her down away from you so it doesn't splatter on you. Go. Go. And it should take anywhere from three to four minutes on each side, depending on how cold your salmon is, how hot your pan is. Always better to undercook fish a little bit. The temperature you're shooting for for fish is about 140 degrees. So again, not a bad idea to have a thermometer. If I check it now when it's cold, this fish is at 45 degrees. That looks beautiful already. Now I'm going to turn my flame down. Now I'm going to put the roasted red peppers in there, just to warm them up a little bit. Okay, the salmon is done. Pull it off at 140. Now I'm gonna put it in about two teaspoons of whole butter. I do it in the same pan, that way you're gonna get the flavors from the salmon. So I'm gonna put in about two and a half ounces of spinach and arugula, which is about two cups. That'll wilt down into just about a nice little serving. Put a dash of salt in there, a little black pepper. And that is done. You don't have to cook it to death. You're just trying to kind of wilt it up a bit. Now that tomato coulis is out of the refrigerator, so it's really cold. I'm going to put it in this pan. really don't want to cook it. I'm just trying to bring it up to room temperature. So right away, I'll turn off the pan. Because again, this is just to bring it up to room temp. I still want to retain that fresh tomato basil flavor. Wish you could be here to try this. It absolutely smells fantastic. Crispy crust on the salmon, the tomato coulis in the center, bordered with roasted red bell peppers and the sauteed arugula and spinach. Super healthy meal, very low carb. Got your vegetables in there, tomatoes, protein. Can't beat it. Easy to make. Cooley could be made ahead of time. Go out there and try this. If you like these videos, please hit subscribe. They really help out. Now go out and cook for someone you love.